this is a ultrasound, gynecological ultrasound of a 40 years old female. You are seeing the urinary bladder uh, with the longitudinal section of the uterus. This is the uterus and this is the central endometrial canal. This is the transverse section. The uterus is normal. There is no fluid seen in the pelvic cavity. However, when I move the probe towards the right shoulder of the patient, I do see a cystic area with dependent region echogenic uh, material. This one. Now this is this measures approximately four point six by four point five centimeter. It's filled with echoes and you can see this area that is uh, with the medial wall, echogenic area and now let's see if this is changes its shape when it's given a full sweep. I have given the full, full sweep almost now and you can see that uh, this uh, echogenic area is there the cyst is aquifered, I have magnified it and it has not changed its shape. It has a thin, thin wall and uh, this is, is very much consistent with. Now, we uh, do not see any shadowing from this uh, ecogenic area. So, most probably this is uh, thick debris settled down in this region of the cyst. There is no fluid seen as such, no calcification, no septa <coughs> are seen. These are all echoes within the cyst. This is the epidemic area. So the possibility of a dermoid cyst should be kept in mind uh, while reporting the cyst. And uh, one important thing is that we do not see any posterior wall, acoustic enhancement from the cystic wall. However, from this view, you can see the shadowing from the cytogenic area thus uh, making the diagnosis more confirmatory that of uh, a dermoid cyst, dermoid ovarian cyst of the left ovary. Simple cyst, even though filled with uh, echoes, will give you posterior wall acoustic enhancement. Now we can see that there is no strong back wall or posterior wall acoustic enhancement. The posterior wall of the cyst is clearly seen and uh, this is the uterus and this is the area of study of the hours. Thank you.